Hello, hello, hello! Welcome, Welcome to, to the radio, radio show. Hi. So, hello, guys. I'm Michaela. I'm the president of John Jay Radio. Hi, my name is Kiona. I'm the vice president of John Jay Radio. Hi, my name is Achor, and I'm the secretary for John Jay Radio. And hi, I'm Jessica, the treasurer. Hi, I'm Rocky. I'm a committee member. Hi, my name is Chelsea. I'm a committee member, and also a charge of the social media page and as you already know it's your girl sarah and i'm a committee member and i'm also in charge of like media nothing too crazy hi guys this is Alyssa, and i am a guest for today <laughs> thank you Alyssa. Alright, so for today's show, since it's 9-11... We are gonna do a little memorial to them, especially because we do have 67 members from the John Jay community who did die that day, so we want to recognize everyone who did fall that day, as well as everybody who has been stepping up, and our police force, the fire department, and everyone who helped on that day, so we are gonna hold a moment of silence for everybody... But before we hold the moment of silence, if you're listening to if you're listening to this and you do get the chance to attend the 9/11 memorial that they're having on the J Wolf, I recommend everyone to do that. Now we will commence the moment of silence. And also, for anyone who didn't know, we also have a 9-11 memorial in John Jay in Heron Hall. So you can also check that out where we have the 67 members of the John Jay community who were killed that day etched into the memorial as well. Yeah. Um, I did mention that they're going to have the 9-11. You can read more about that on the poster that they put up. Um, also, today is my father's birthday, so I just want to give a big shout out to my dad, um, Charles. Shout out! Happy birthday! Happy birthday, daddy. I know you're at home chilling, so hope you're having a good day. And I also want to, um, do a shout out because Socially Awkward is having their dodgeball tournament on September 16th from 6.30 to 9.30 p.m. on the fourth floor. So you can always go there, sign up with the team, and play some dodgeball. Woo! Sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> talking about events that are happening on campus, mm-hmm. we're going to transition a little bit from, this is a predominantly female show, so we're, all right. It is a full, yes. it is a full female show. Mm-hmm. It's a full female show, mm-hmm. so we're basically going to get into... How we go from hot girl summer to, <laughs> to basic bitch fall. <laughs> okay, basic bitch fall. So, um, anybody can start? Yeah. Well, how Whoever you wants trans- to start. Alright, I'm going to start. Yeah, you okay. start. Because I'm a Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so my summer wasn't really a hot girl summer, but it was. I wanted to. Low key. It was. Low key yeah. it was. Low key it was. Mm-hmm. I had a boyfriend. You can't have a hot girl summer with a boyfriend, in my opinion. Okay. okay. In my opinion. Yeah, I, mean, yeah, I think that's true because you know, it's a significant other. Yeah, it's yeah. 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 somebody's singles. Yeah. yeah. But not, yeah, yeah. You, if you're single, you can't really relate. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Single mm-hmm. girls have their own version of hot girl summer where we was yeah, getting it done. Yeah. It's two different. Yeah. It's a, two different lanes. Yeah. Yeah. Hot girl girl summer. This is the two many definitions. Single, with my ass, hot girl yeah. summer. <laughs> and we and then drop the ball. Hop on legit international hot girl summer. <laughs> <laughs> many different hot girl summers. Many different hot definitions. 
just tell how girls are around. But to transition into school, it wasn't really that hard. I just had to just, you know, stop driving the boat at parties. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, just, you know, take into account that we have a lot of work to catch up on. And catching up on work is a lot. I can and catching up on work is a lot. I'm sorry that I kind of went silent. We're, you know, inviting more people into the radio room. Um, so, yeah, catching up on, like, school. Like, you know, when you got to get back into the school transition, mm-hmm. like, someone knock you in your face with, like, 10. <laughs> 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 like, bitch, you got to read. <laughs> oh. So, it wasn't really a hard transition. Like, just start reading what you got to do and stop driving the boat. That's, that's yeah. for me, though. Mm-hmm. You for me? I'll explain what driving the boat is. Driving the boat, for people that don't know, is, um, you know, kind of a negative connotation on it. <laughs> <laughs> because we do it but without it. But, it's, like, it's, um, it's like, yeah. It's right. when you take a liquor bottle and... <laughs> 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 you drink it. I'm not promoting any drinking if you're not 21. <laughs> I was but okay. in another country. Okay. <laughs> it was in Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> that was a real hot girl summer, and as um, Kiona was saying, we were international, okay? Mexico <laughs> is international. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> For single hot girl summer, for me, it was a kind of transition because I was going out pretty much every weekend. I still kind of am. Huh? Yes. And okay. Oh, <laughs> okay. okay. I see you. Ain't got, no, ain't got no cuff on me, so don't even rep that. So, it was kind of an awkward thing for me because I would go out anytime I want if I didn't have work because everybody knows we got to get that money. So, if I didn't have work, chances are I was out somewhere doing something. And now I can't do that since I got school. <laughs> See, and then I just feel like, other than other than transitioning to school, because I had a transition where I don't know if I cared about myself enough, because the night before school, I went to my last party, because I was like, you know what, we just got to get it in the one more time. <laughs> I had to wake up at, my first class at 925, I had to be up at like 6, 7. I didn't get home till two something. Okay. Knowing damn really? well I should have been in bed by eleven. Like, <laughs> hey, knowing damn. damn well I came to school with a hangover. <laughs> it's a okay. I supported though. Okay. Okay. Because I feel like I needed it one last time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but no, I think I think the hot girl summer for a lot of people was like just enjoying life. Whether you defined it as some people were like, oh, there was a difference between hot girl summer and city girl summer. Yeah. Some yeah, people yeah, said it was a difference. Yeah. And then I noticed when some people called another person a city girl, they took it as like, why are you calling me a city girl? We're hot girls. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then you had to define what your difference was. Yeah. And what I've heard was like, city girl was a little bit more trashier. Same fun. <laughs> Same fun. <laughs> All around fun. Pick your choice. But, however, comma, um, just the fact that like, I don't know, I think Megan had a lot of influence this summer. Mm-hmm. So it kind of just led people in that direction yeah, of she, having fun, no matter what you yeah. called it. Mm-hmm. Also, um... Something that I did find out about Megan, she's a rogue in, in college. School, yeah, she is. Um, hello. And <laughs> that's probably why she kind of got that good connotation around Hot Girl Summer. Mm-hmm. Because she really posted cool. something and it was like, I'm going to have a Hot Girl Semester. And yeah. I was like, me too, sis. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Me too. Even though you're still in school, if you can balance stuff, you can still go out. You can still have your fun. Even if you're working one or two jobs, because we know a lot of people are out here doing that, you can still go out and have fun, <laughs> go to movies with friends, still go to parties, just learn that balance. Yeah, and a lot of times people don't, like, women... In general, like, a lot of women look down upon other women that do that. Like, sis, I am mm-hmm. applauding you that mm-hmm. you have the time to go out. You have the mm-hmm. time to work. Read those, mm-hmm. essays, read those, those essays. essays. Exactly. Get that exactly. money. Do everything. Do what you got to do. And exactly. keep up with what you are doing. Like, yeah. That's the thing. So, how does someone <laughs> into this? 
Hot basic girl semester. semester. Basic semester. Oh. Oh. Hot girl semester. Hot girl semester. Hot girl semester. Hot girl semester. Yeah. Yeah. That is the tagline. It's going to be a hot girl semester. Right. Carrying over from summer. Exactly. After hearing what she said, she came first day of school. But I feel kind of a. I, yeah. It is not a hot girl semester. Fuck basic bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be a part of basic bitch fall. I'm sorry. I just can't cause my leave. All right. We I won't. won't. We're not going to promote that no more. All right. Nah. <laughs> hot girl semester for sure. Yeah. Hot girls mm-hmm. yeah. So that actually leads into an interesting topic that we can discuss is how to keep on track with staying on your semester because that could be jarring for a lot of people going from maybe partying all summer and having to actually do work now if they weren't having any type of curriculum or sh- um, any strategy to themselves over the summer. I think even the word you, I don't know if you were going to say it, but like structure. Yeah, structure. That was the word. That's, I wanted you to say that so bad because that's what I lacked this summer. And I think I had the best summer. I think this was the funnest is not a word. <laughs> oh, really fun time. I had Most a really fun. fun summer. And it was like knowing that I was going back to school was one of those things. Like I'm, since I started college, it's the first time I've actually been excited to go back to school. I like meeting new people every semester. I like doing new things versus being in high school every single year. But this is the first summer I can say I've been out. I wasn't really held back on a leash in my household. I wasn't really um, restricted by so much. And I felt like I just had the time of my life. So to be in a environment where now you have to be up at a certain time, do certain work at a certain time, like everything is timed. You're on other people's timing. You're doing things for other people and for yourself in the long run. But it's just, it's a lot of challenging work when it comes to your attention span. And when it comes to staying focused. And I think that's where I have to kind of turn my gears to is now, okay, my attention span is not shit. So let's get somewhere with it. Let's try to do something with it. So for me, all of, well, transitioning from partying all day to, you know, going to school, (laughs) not saying that I partied all day, but (laughs) I feel like you just got to plan. Like if you're not ahead, one step ahead, you'll fall back. And I have this whole mindset for this semester is not to fall back. I'm going to try to do everything in advance and just, you know, try to, you know, ha- still have a social life and still have a job and still try to do this podcast once a week and, you know, just try to have fun, but also be responsible for the things that I have to do. And I think that everybody should, you know, try to be more responsible for what they do and just plan. Yeah, I think that's an important point in college especially when you have you know five or six classes planning ahead because if you do the assignment just on time you're already late you have to do your assignments exactly. and look at your syllabus every day even when you don't have classes and just really focus on what can be done right now what can be done over this weekend and continue <clears throat> to stay on top of your work because if you're not on top of your work the work is on top of you and you're gonna draw <laughs> yeah. does anybody in this room keep or use a planner like yes. Yes. I use I several do. Yeah, so every single day <laughs> people who know me know I have my giant ass planner that I keep in my bag that has a monthly view and then a weekly view and I have all the dates from my syllabus already put into it and then in my bedroom I have that same weekly calendar put up like, I even have a date set in my phone calendar to um, put up name next week's calendar on my weekly calendar in my bedroom, yeah. just so that I'm on top of everything, and yeah. I know what to do when. Exactly. Um, oh, nice. I'm not going to lie. I use my planner once in a blue moon. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. And all this structure about being on top of your work, it's not possible all the time. <laughs> And I want you guys to know that I'm not going to fake the funk. (laughs) I would not fake the funk. And this is Sarah telling you the truth. Like, it's okay to not do your work. Wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Yeah. Explain. When I mean not do your work 50 days ahead. (laughs) <laughs> like, it's, okay. Yeah. Right, like, it's a- okay if you do your work the night before as long as or the Sunday done. before that week okay, okay. as long yeah. as it gets done as long as you put all into what you do mm-hmm. and how you do it I'm not gonna sit here and say I do my work from <laughs> three weeks because <laughs> I don't, I don't yeah. Yeah, that's, true. that's true realistic. I have two jobs mm-hmm. why would I like can't mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. like, I can't. Like, it's just impossible to yeah. do 
stuff way ahead too above of time. and beyond. Yeah. Yeah. Too I above mean, and it also depends on like what type of person you are too. Because I know for like me. Yeah. I could knock out a paper, a five-page paper in yeah, a day, yeah. and then get an A-minus on it, and I'll be fine. But, like, most people can't do it, and then you're putting yourself in stress. Facts. And, you know, self-care is, like, the biggest thing mm-hmm. nowadays. Like, if you don't care to yourself, you're just going to be miserable all your life. Like, And it also depends on, like, what type of work you have. Because for me, one of my classes, I have daily quizzes. So it won't do me any good to try to read three, four chapters ahead I if I have a daily quiz on a mm-hmm. specific chapter mm-hmm. at a specific time. Like, that's not going to work for me. I literally was like, before the semester started, I knew one of my coworkers. He was, he's now a senior in college, and he was saying how his his plan for college, his structure, the way he did every semester, he'd get the syllabus, he'd do all the homework ahead of time. Every oh, yeah. single one. So yeah. all he has to do is show up to class. Yeah, right? yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Really yeah. 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 And he would spend a good week, two weeks solid, no speaking to anyone, doing homework, papers straight. Yeah, Whether he knew the topic, nothing. He was writing it. So by the time it came to the date of it, he'd either go back and fix it up or just... Ha- that's just hand crazy. it in. I yeah, wish I had that level yeah, of self control. Right? Oh, and no. I was like, my attention span, I can't sit there for more than 15 minutes without what you were saying. <laughs> there. One minute me reading a line, I'm like, now no. I deserve a sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, yeah. It, it really takes time, and this goes into kind of another topic on the cell phone. And having yeah. your cell phone, I will legit be typing my paper, and then I'll be like, nah, let me go check what Kim Kardashian is doing. <laughs> <laughs> or I'm about to call right. y'all. You be on the phone sometimes, too, while you reading. Yes, I read. I multitask. And I want people never to come at multitasking because it works. And I read all- It depends on your personality. Because I know. You have to know yourself, right? Yeah. You have to know yourself. Yeah, like Sarah said, she can do it. She I can, can be on it. FaceTime I'll and be reading on- her assignment. Other people need quiet. They need to go to the yeah. library. They need to actually understand, highlight, mm-hmm. do whatever they need yes. to do to know what they're reading and be able to understand what they're reading. So it, it just depends on. It needs to be how you can focus. Because for me, I can listen to music and read and write all together. But I know a lot of people that look at me and be like, "You listen to music? How are you doing that? Don't you write what you're hearing?" I'm like, "No," and I'm just typing away or I'm just reading away. Yeah, yeah. during the school semester. All social media shut down for me. I delete my Instagrams. I delete everything because what? it takes oh, just wow. too much time. It takes yeah. all that scrolling, be scrolling for, for hours. hours. Yeah, yeah, not you don't realize it. Oh my god! Yeah, you don't realize how much time that scrolling pu- mm-hmm. accumulates during mm-hmm. the week. So I just shut it down. If I got time to do something, I better read something else. I better read an mm-hmm. article. All my time that I have to scroll, I need to be doing something. Do you ever reactivate it? Like you completely deactivate it, or you log I out? I deactivate it. Well, you know, when when I have slow weeks, I like, hey, come back <laughs> for a couple hours, and then I deactivate it, okay. and then I'm okay. back on in the summertime. When I see all those A's, I'm back on. <laughs> when I see all those A's. <laughs> That's not me. <laughs> yeah, I, I couldn't. Like, I can't live she, without when that. When she asked that question, like, do you reactivate it? Do you yeah. log out or do you do I will log out sometimes. I'll just like, turn, I'll just shut off my phone. Week. I don't yeah. even turn off my phone. I just shut my phone off completely. My, my phone is turned on 24-7. Um, I read on my social media about my work, though. Like, <laughs> I read like, people will look at my Facebook post and self like, yeah, it's a part of my life. Right, right. Okay, like, me scrolling isn't bad to me. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe. Right, no, that's like but, me, too. I can, I don't have to, I still have Instagram on my phone. I only have Instagram and Twitter. I don't have everything else. I don't have Snapchat and all that. But I still have it, mm-hmm. and I can still scroll, and then, like, we go to the library, and then I, like, just put my phone to the side or whatever. I don't really be on the phone, <clears> but... You just have to, like I said, come back and just... And yeah, sometimes, exactly. this is what I did, and I found it really helpful. So, I actually purged my Instagram page of people who I felt were, like, too negative in my life. Oh, I did that. I that deleted a yeah, whole that. bunch of people mm. who good. didn't like contribute to my life yes. in a positive yes. way. You have to purge your Yo. social media yeah. all yes. the time because it's not only who don't contribute to your life, mm. it's who has the same views as you. Right. Yeah. What are they posting? What are they posting? Right. What's what their values? Posting? Exactly. Values. Exactly. You have to follow people that's posting. I want to see house keys. I want to see the <laughs> yes. I want to see the plum 
traumas. Like, right. that's something, yeah. because mm-hmm. that's something that I want. Because like, they getting their shit done. Exactly. So motivate you at yeah. the same time. Yeah. It's fun. You're like, this is what I'm next. Also like a <laughs> good, <laughs> next. Yeah, it's also like a good cleanse, too, when you see all of that negativity just leave, and you're just like, oh, I, I, I'm happy like, scrolling yeah, for 15 right, minutes. Right, like, right. I don't got to see this whole every five seconds <laughs> on my feed no more. And it be like that, but... <laughs> When I be seeing them girls, I be like, okay, maybe my body could look like this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that, yeah, that could also be that. something that's negative, though. Depending on like how you see your body, you might not want all of those like Instagram yeah. models yeah, and things I had on so your. Many girls on my account, I had to leave. Yeah, I had to go go to the club and try to live that life. <laughs> like, and sometimes I think about it. <laughs> <laughs> the and only it, reason I'd be a bottle girl is for them outfits. I'm not gonna. Yeah. Hold <laughs> them outfits. outfits um, free yeah. Is it March is it? Women's Month? Yeah, March. Yeah, is March. Is it? Women's Month. Yes, it is. It's, it's March. Is. It's March because right after Black History Month. Yeah. yeah. So next yeah. year, March 2020 is the Women's. Don't listen yes. to Sarah. Thank you very much. Don't listen to me. Yo, 2020 is right true. around the corner. It guys. Is. Yo, but it is. Wow. Is over. Like yeah. that's how it's like. Over. It's 2020 already. I'm graduating. Like I remember the ball dropping, and now we. It's almost Christmas. Like I understand. It's true. Time is up. I'm so. We only have 12 more weeks. 12 more weeks. 12 weeks? My professor said it today. She was like, we're ready in week three. We only have 10 more weeks. That's how I oh, count. Oh, wow. Oh, oh no. no. Wait, now I'm going to start stressing because yeah. I, oh, no. You, you, count, count, you, you count the weeks or the homework in college, it goes faster. Yeah. yeah. I've noticed that. Weeks? Oh, for yeah, sure. Yeah, because like when you think of the months, <laughs> when you think of the months, it seems further away. Mm-hmm. But if you break it down to the so weeks, up. you realize how little it actually is. So, nah. yeah. I don't know. It kind of gave me anxiety to do the the twelve week type thing. Really? Like, yeah. Like for me to know that I only have yeah. twelve weeks left. I would have been I'm stressed. Like, I'm like, Professor, why would you tell me that? Why you just oh, yeah, my whole day? Yeah. Like, <laughs> topics for midterms. Yeah. Topics for everything that's coming up. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, and no. I don't know what's going on with the climate of John Jay. Not <laughs> saying I don't dislike the climate of John Jay, but a lot of my professors are doing this thing where like we be the teacher. And we be the yeah yeah. My think that she's doing no. it. It's like a flip classroom where you like do the homework assignment and then you come and you teach or you discuss it in the class. Yes. They don't really teach anymore. They're mm-hmm. just like you, you teach us don't like that? what you learn. I, I do. I think it's like I, I actually like it. Yeah, okay. It's a yeah. Okay. Versus because sitting in the lecture all the time. It helps me retain the information. I prefer right. that, and I didn't realize until she just said it that it is a, a transition that's now starting. Yeah. 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 I prefer discussion yeah. courses. Yeah. 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 Versus lecture. Yeah. Yeah. That would be fun. Yeah. Actually, it was a transition that just started because before this, it wasn't like that. Yeah. It was straight lectures. And everyone go around and um say your major. Oh, my major Ooh. is sociology. Political science. What's your name? Alyssa. Hi. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sociology is Sarah. Uh, Kiona, Law and Society. Vice President. Achora, Law and Society. Rocky, Forensic Psych. Chelsea, Criminal Justice, BS. Michaela, Criminal Justice, BA. Jessica, Criminal Justice, BS. Yeah. So as you can see, we do have a little bit of variation in the majors we have in here. And the diversity of majors. So that's good though. Can I ask you guys a question? Of course. Do you guys know what other than your major's specific name, mm-hmm. would it apply to the field that you want to do when you grow up? As in, like, 
if somebody's studying sociology, for example, is mm-hmm. that just solely what you want to be a sociologist? Oh no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And a lot of, and I want a lot of people that's listening to take this into consideration. Never listen to what people say when they say whatever you study is what you want to do. Oh right? yeah. Or yes. what you have to do. Right. Yeah. I'm studying sociology, and I'm going to become a lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You can study English and become a lawyer. Yeah, you can you study math. I was going to say, it's you, really diverse. You not can even, just... but, and not even in the law field, though, but I can be in sociology and become a teacher. But mm-hmm. it also depends on what you want to do, because some things are more streamlined, because if you want to say be a doctor or be a vet. Oh, you do need well, yeah, those, you know, like, you bio. Yeah. You know yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, I need to I'm do pre med like, and But, like, for other Probably, things in like, your college life, you don't have to exactly study right. for your future. Yeah. And While I'm, it could be, in a sense, beneficial, yeah. do what you want to do in yeah, your fun. sense. Yeah. Relax. And also, for those people who want to go to law school, you always hear, oh, you need political science, you need this and that. No, you don't. You need political no, science really. or criminal justice. You or... could have, like Michaela said, you could have English, yeah. you could have math, you could have chemistry. Like, I'm doing a psychology chemistry. and history minor, even mm-hmm. though I'm majoring in criminal justice. You can do almost any major you want without any sort of repercussion. As long as you're happy, if you're, if you're a paying student... You might want to look a little bit more into it, but if you have someone else that's paying for it, you can explore a bit more. Not you got the government paying for it. Everyone should look into whatever that major does. Like, when I looked up sociology, it was like, social worker. Like, mm-hmm. instantly. Mm-hmm. And I was like, no, I'm going to go look somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah. And that's another thing, too. Look somewhere else. You're not limited to only working in the United States. Yeah, and John Jay actually has some great international majors. There's international exactly. criminal justice, international, international human um, rights, human rights. Mm-hmm. there's the translators. Yeah. You can do a bunch of stuff. Do you guys yeah. feel like you're on track, like, in your college career? Yeah. Like, sometimes, personally, for me, I feel like I'm always falling behind because I constantly compare myself. Oh, or yeah. I'm feeling like... For example, like the other day I went to my minor's Africana studies, mm-hmm. one of my minors. And I went upstairs just to inquire about getting a credit to transfer over correctly. And he, there was a professor up there that I was speaking to and he was like, do you have a mentor yet? And I was like, why do I need a mentor? Like, I didn't even know I needed certain yeah. things or I, it was required of me to go find them. And he was like, you're already a junior and that's, you already declared your minor. So do you, do you guys feel like you're on track with everything? So for me personally, I... I know, uh, realistically, I'm on track, but personally, I feel I'm not, Mm -hmm. because I'm, like, constantly checking my degree works and looking at, like, what still needs to be done for my major, what still needs to be done for my minors, what gen eds do I still have to do? Like, I feel like I'm not where I should be just because I still have a lot left to do, Mm -hmm. even though that is mildly unrealistic, because I do still have four semesters left. Mm. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I just met with... This is Kiana. I just met with my advisor. This is yes. Kiana. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have the same voice. Now. <laughs> don't learn I just our met with my advisor yesterday, and I was like... She was telling me stuff that I didn't know. Like, I still was missing a little electives here and there. So, definitely take... Um, definitely use the resources as, like, you know, acad- uh, academic advisement and go and see them as many times as you can because... It's sneaky. Degree work doesn't is not as clear as people think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, you may have one credit missing. You may need this. So definitely use the resources in John Jay to always stay on. Track. And degree works can be very hard to understand exactly. if you don't, don't know how to don't read don't it. Right. And what I was gonna say was mm-hmm. personally. So far, I feel like I'm on track. I know I'm a lower junior and I'm graduating 2021. But I am going to say that I am on track because of this program that I'm in, Ace. Shout out to Ace. Shout out to Ace. Yes. Yes. And we have (laughs) the only Seek student. It's okay. Ace and Seek is similar. Right. And we have our advisors and they require us to meet with them every month. I have my meeting with Hannah tomorrow. Hi, Hannah. um, (laughs) Watch Hannah not even be listening. No, I'm going to make her listen. Anyways, um, they do keep us on track, and they let us know. We have our advisement, our seminars. Yeah. They let us know what we need in order to yeah, graduate, summer. how many credits. Yeah. When we need an internship, they pushing us, having no, us that does. orientation, yeah. Yeah. doing all this stuff to stay on track because the main mission of ACE is to help us to graduate in those in, four years. Yes. So if we're not on track, then they're doing something wrong. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But so far, <laughs> so, far, so, far so far, we're all on track. And I think, Chelsea, are you ahead? 
Yeah, I'm yeah, graduating yeah, yeah. a semester ahead, yeah. so I'll graduate December 2020. Yes! Yeah. 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 But you still walk That's with crazy. us. You still walk with us. I'm pretty sure yeah. I still walk. Yeah, yeah. So I'll, yeah. but I'll get my degree in December. But, well, well like, no, in like February, February March. March. Yeah. Yeah. Because you get your degree two months after yeah, two you graduate. You graduate, which is BS. Uh, class, you just and then you'll just be chilling spring semester. Like you won't have no classes. Or I won't have. I won't even be. That's in, good. The, on the she campus. got like a freebie, like <laughs> yeah, basically yeah. Like a year off, yeah, which is good. Yeah, but yeah, but for me, for me, <laughs> my um. I forgot the question. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you on track? You feel like you're yes. on track. Um, I feel on track with because see, it, Chelsea was talking. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> it was so beautiful. <laughs> I was in the moment. Um, so I am on track in my opinion. <laughs> but like, who, who who's to say I'm not on track? And yeah. like you were saying, yeah. um, looking at another person that's in the same degree as me. Yeah. Like, right. I'm in classes mm-hmm. with. Seniors, yeah. And like, yeah. In my major classes, I'm in major classes with seniors, and I'm like, um, am I, am I, am I up there? Yeah, right, right. No, but sure. then you gotta scratch yourself and look, like, um, sis, no, yes, you know, <laughs> that gave me a quote, right? right. <laughs> <laughs> and look back at your degree works, and I happen to gotten to know degree works because I'm a peer mentor, yeah. so we have to know, like, you know, so our students don't f up. Yeah. So when I looked at it, it's like. Like, okay, yeah, my major is done, but I have all these credits that need to be fulfilled, mm-hmm. and like, what the hell am I That's why you can yeah. do electives, you can get a minor, and sometimes you yeah, think one minor is enough. No, you might need two minors to fulfill those electives. Yeah, that's that's or, or you could do, a you can do like a chore, a yeah. certificate. That's what I was going to say, the conflict resolution Oh, yes, yeah, so you learn about that certificate. You need like 20-something, so that adds up all these elective credits. So when, yeah. you're, when you think, oh, yeah, I'm doing my major, and then they're like, oh, you need an extra credit, now you got to do gym, drama, and art. Exactly. What the hell? Mm-hmm. I mean, that, this isn't to diss anybody who wants to use those elective credits yeah. as no, electives. Um, but but like, if you have a more stuff. streamlined yeah, idea of what you want to study, you can do that. Right, because my yeah. major's on society, but I'm taking sociology. And like Sarah said, sociology is very interesting. I love that book. I will read that book in my free time. My law and society books, I haven't even read it yet. So, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's what you're interested in. So, like, them elective credits, like, obviously, I got two minors now. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Drama is one. And oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, Do you know how many you very, nice yes. drama classes I, they have? You'll be a very good actress, yes. I don't want to, I don't it's know. Fun. I'm, I'm really fun. <laughs> I'm a drama <laughs> minor, too. So, it really, really is fun. Especially, they have, like, a lot of good professors for drama. Well, I'm like, how does these professors care more about me than my math professor? <laughs> 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 true. Yeah. I, and, you know, it's true, but it's also, like, mm. sad. Right. Like, why the hell do yeah. you yeah. care about me? And it's drama. Yeah. yeah. But not to diss my drama professors. I love y'all. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, it's like, dang, sis. Yeah. See, but I feel like it's also, like, attentions to the classes. Because, like... No offense to drama or things like that, but most people don't tend to major or minor in things like drama or those yeah. more yeah, liberal yeah. arts, yeah. which technically John Jay is a liberal arts college, but most people it don't go wasn't. for liberal arts. That's what arts. I was going to yeah. say. People would say, oh, always. why am I in college? Why am I, I'm in college. Why am I doing drama? And to be yeah. honest, that's how I thought. I was like, I'm in college. I'm not doing gym. I'm not doing all this extra stuff. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to do what I plan mm-hmm. to do. You know, through my college yeah. career, but her, like Sarah said, her minor is drama. So it's like you can still be, like you said, have that liberal section and be like, okay, yeah, sociology. So incorporated but then I you're still doing. doing drama. I'm still doing art because at, at the end mm-hmm. of the day, everybody has their interests. Yeah. You know? Yeah. For me personally, like I have a passion for photography, and other other than being a cop, because that is my goal to be a homicide detective. I feel like I'm also a law minor. So to be a law minor, I feel like. I like my law classes way more than I like my criminal justice classes, which is weird but because I don't want to be a lawyer. But I yeah. feel like in order to be a cop, you should learn more about the law. But going back to my photography, like I wanted to be an art minor too, but it was just too much and I want to graduate on time, whatever. But I feel like you should dig down into your passions and stuff like that so you could take those elective classes that aren't just random and boring. So, yeah, like for me, yeah. I said I'm doing history and psychology and I get to use them sort of for a dual purpose mm-hmm. because not only am I super passionate about those, but if anyone's going to study for the LSAT, one of the things they tell you is try to take classes that are very writing intensive and reading intensive. Mm-hmm. And history and psychology are one of those things that are 
writing intensive and reading intensive. So I got to use that not only as a study method, but because I'm personally interested in it. And I have a lot of people look at me saying, oh, why are you interested in history? It's boring. It's just remembering dates. But (laughs) it's more than that because people don't want to believe it, but history do really be repeating itself. Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. Like, look at, like, you can look at the pattern with presidents. One of the things is we always have a bad president, Mm -hmm. then followed by a good president, and then a medium-sized president. Mm -hmm. So, so even if that bad president does have one or more terms, like, it is a pattern between how it goes, and you can see it if you look at history, and you can see it through wars, through different nations, like, Mm -hmm. history repeats itself. History is fascinating. See, I'm one of the people that can vouch for history, because I was that kid in high school that, like, tutored kids for the, for the, what is it called? The regions, the regions yeah. and all that stuff. Like I was not a math kid. I was. Oh, I, I, I was the opposite. Math. I was the math kid. Science, Everybody came to me for help. I did science <laughs> off of common sense. All my science stuff, I got it out of luck, and I can confess to that to this day. I've never Same. studied for science in my life. If I read a question, I was like, "Oh, this makes sense to me." Mm. But history is one of those things I feel like can apply to everywhere. So personally, for me, I never wanted to major in history because people looked at it like, "Oh, you're majoring history." Do you want to be a teacher? Do you want to be something? And I never wanted to be that mm-hmm. at first. It was more just like, I think that'd be a career later on in my life. But yeah. So basically what we're saying is use your passions, use your interests, and you use can explain more. College yes. Gives you. College yes. gives you a lot of resources. There's advisors. You can, um, BMI, um, black male initiative, mm-hmm. um, there's mentors you can find. You can go to seniors. Like, a lot of people are willing to help you. You don't have to go through college alone. Mm-hmm. And definitely, I would say, join clubs, join yeah. programs, because you can find a sense of community in them. Yeah. Like, See, that's why I think now as a junior, I'm kind of realizing this, and I, I wanted to accomplish this by sophomore year. Like, I told myself coming into college, I want to be social, I want to do this. And sometimes that's not in everybody's personality. Like, that wasn't... I'm a social person when I'm comfortable, but it's not in my personality to go out of my way to go find something and go find a group, especially because I'm the type to feel like I'm always bothering people. Yeah, I can can relate. But the reason I asked the question much earlier that led to all these topics was, does everybody feel prepared or does everybody feel structured in their college career Mm -hmm. so far? Was because like everybody was talking about like some people are in seek, some people are in ace, where I'm one of those people that try to get into those and I didn't. Mm -hmm. So... Those programs, yes, I would say if you have them, use them to the best extent. Yeah. Do not mess up anything. Do not because, because they really be helping yeah, you. Because yeah. as a person that doesn't have the structure or have somebody constantly I'm checking in with and all that stuff, it makes me kind of feel like um, insecure in my mm-hmm. college career. Like I feel like I'm doing everything myself. And as a person that by nature, I'm not, I'm not lazy, but by nature, I'm lazy. Um, <laughs> so the procrastination fact the, life. Yeah. Yeah. So like the fact that the other day that I met years. a professor and he was asking me to have a mentor and on the spot, he said he'll be my mentor. I was like, oh, okay. Like, I didn't know I needed this for sure. Like, that's great. Um, I know for a fact, these same people that are willing to help me will not do the work for me. So it's going to take a lot of me, a lot out of me or a lot of me, um, to pursue what I need to get done on time with the structure that I have, which Mm -hmm. is either myself or going to seek some help. Yeah, and based off, this is anecdotal, but, like, based off my brother, a lot of college is being proactive in your life. Like, my brother went in with the mentality that he could get by like he was in high school, which was just, oh, doing the bare minimum and, like, getting good grades. But no, No. with college, you have to be proactive. You got to go out there. Go to your teach professors hours speak to your professors they will help you they they'll help you streamline especially because i'm taking criminal justice ba i don't know if other majors are like this but for criminal justice ba mine is very very structured so i have to take classes in a sequential order and if i don't i'll fall behind Mm -hmm. so you have to go use those resources on campus and you have to be proactive in your campus life And I'm realizing a lot of what college is that I personally made the connection for is not always, yes, it is what you do, but it's not always solely based on that. It really is who you know. Yeah. And that's the same thing with life, with career, with everything. The person with the best grades, the best degrees, if you don't know the top boss and the person next to you got minimal things, but they know the top person, they know here because they, um, what do you call that? When you branch out, when you... Networking. When you network, they'll get in more places. Their name will be mentioned in more places before they step in the door. 
before you with the best grades are. Yeah. It's more about putting yourself out there and out of your comfort zone enough mm-hmm. to try and help yourself because nobody else will vouch for you. I had uh, I do campus tours on because I'm a peer ambassador. And this girl, she was like, how do you make friends on campus? And I was like, honestly, it's all about being involved and being pro- proactive on campus. Because for me, I have a job on campus. I'm in a, you know, club. I am a peer educator for ACE. I do all these things because I wanted to, because I wanted to make, I feel like everybody should have the college experience that they want and they have to do it themselves. Nobody's going to make you do all these stuff. And I feel like, and especially as a commuter, commuter yeah. kid, yeah. you especially, have to kind of force yeah. yourself you to open to. up or at least, like I said, put yourself out there enough to try to let people take you in or exactly. you try to join something or you try to connect somewhere. Mm-hmm. It's not as easy for us, I would say, yeah. in my opinion. I was going to say that. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to cut you off. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's really hard for us to be on campus, on campus. and actually yes. want to do things. Like, honestly, at the beginning of starting college, I was like, yo, I should have went to HBCU. Like, <laughs> down south. Like, really <laughs> that was me. And the reason why is because it's really, really hard. Yeah. Like, I had to, I only had three friends first year, mm-hmm. right? And those were my three friends, ride or die, yep. everything. I was taking classes with them, and I love them to death still to mm-hmm. today. But we changed, and you have to leave that bubble, and it's the commuter yeah, bubble. Yes. I think that's what it is, the commuter I know bubble. for me, because I live in Staten Island, sadly, because we all know Staten Island. <laughs> <laughs> we all know Staten Island's trash. Yeah. Let, let's be real. Just a, just a little bit. It, no, it's trash. <laughs> But I know for me, a lot of people went to CSI, and I was like, guess what? I'm not going to CSI because that's it's right there. I don't want to go to a right there school. Mm-hmm. I want to branch out and make new friends, make new meet new people, and have better experiences. And that's why I came to John Jay. Well, other than it was a criminal justice school. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But, but that doesn't discount those who do know people from high school that are yeah, in college even high now. school. Yeah. Because... I went to, I didn't go to my zone high school because I didn't want to. I wanted to branch out and meet different people. And I'm actually happy that I did it because now I have better friends because yeah. I went to a different school because of it. Yeah. So. Um, I and, fell into the trap of going to my zone high school. Yeah. And, you know, it was hard, though, because, yeah. like, it's, you know, odds are against us. We're black. <laughs> 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 so it's hard to kind of branch out because at the end of the day, you're branching out. Oh, no. <laughs> you're branching out but you're still not branching out like I feel like a lot of the high schools in cause I lived in Queens and mm-hmm. I went to high school in Queens yeah. in Queens and even in New York City yeah. everyone knows everyone Yeah. so like you are branching out but you're not because yeah. it's the same people yeah. all the time and college kind of gave that I don't know you like, mm-hmm. you're in the same bubble, yeah. but I don't know you. Yeah. It's like, why? Mm-hmm. Why don't I know you? And to get to know people is like getting that comp- that yeah. campus job and exactly. getting um that opportunity of being in a club. And, yeah. You know, a lot of people, when when I first saw Club Row my freshman year, I was just like... I was, I was like... What the fuck? Yeah, like, I was like, this is too much. Like, what the fuck is it? Like, yeah. I was a little intimidated. I was like, oh, I was please. intimidated, yeah. but I also did not feel like I belonged. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and especially with those club row fairs, you see how packed it yeah. gets? Not even about the packedness. It was like, what club? Yeah, yeah. Doing- it's going to be yeah. Yeah. Because, me. Yeah. Honestly, what John Jay club? has a bunch of clubs. We have over 50 clubs. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. Oh, so for everybody that doesn't know what club row is, because we can't assume like oh, everybody from yeah. John Jay. Oh, yeah, right? Like, I was like, what? Yeah. Um, <laughs> so if you go to L2, you'll see uh, Center for Student Involvement. Am I forgetting something? And leadership. And leadership, <laughs> yeah. Cecil. It's Cecil. Yeah, Cecil. If you come down to L2 and go into Cecil, you'll see this area. It's a pretty much a hallway a with a bunch of hallway. rooms. Yeah. And that's Club Row. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and Club Row is essentially like made for all the clubs to basically come down and gather in mm-hmm. this room. Like, meeting me. Yeah, most of the times you'll see the execs here. But if you're friends with the execs, they might let you even hang out in their room. But it's an open space for the clubs. Like, you can even learn more about the different clubs in there. And just a side note, we will be inviting clubs to come speak on here if they want to talk more about their clubs as well. Mm -hmm. Clubs, um, a lot of the sports people. The different athletic teams, maybe even some professors and other students. 
So we are located on Cecil. If you ever want to be a guest speaker, you can. We'll be email doing us. this on Wednesdays. Yeah, every Wednesday. Shoot us an email. You can DM us on Instagram. Follow our Instagram, JJ Radio. We will also for people who miss these. We will also be posting the episodes to SoundCloud and to YouTube. And if you follow the link on our Instagram, the episodes will be posted there as well. Every Wednesday at 1.40. And if you're John Jane, how you, what do we call each other? Bloodhounds? Yes, if you're a bloodhound. <laughs> you said John Jane. I was like, what the hell is that? It's during community hour. It's during community hour. Um, <laughs> and that's when we will usually have this. Yeah. I really think it's essential that we do have this. And we kind of have that space where other people want to come. And yeah. talk about stuff that they necessarily can't come and talk about. Um, there's a lot going on. I mean, I feel we like have salad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel like this platform or this club is basically just to we're the voices of campus, basically. Yeah. And I wanna well, not I, but the whole group, We as in a collective we as a, yes. We wanna just share opinions about controversial topics, about anything. We're yeah. Not, Whether we're it's gonna, stuff that's happening on campus, on campus, off campus or in the United States or in even the internationally. Yeah. yeah. I just wanna I don't want to limit ourselves. We're going to be free, freedom of speech or yes. whatever. And I just want everybody to listen in and be like, oh, yeah, that, that does make sense. This is mainly like yeah, a catch-all yeah, for anything yeah, that's yeah. going on. Mm-hmm. To relate, and a lot of it, when we were talking throughout the radio, throughout this podcast, we all realized that we all are similar. Mm-hmm. We mm-hmm. all are on different paths. Similar like, we all have our different differences, but we can all join can in all on this path. We respectfully, yeah. you know, yeah. share opinions. Yeah. So. We all have different majors. We all come from different boroughs. <laughs> different <laughs> backgrounds. Like we were just, we didn't belong. Yeah. Even in this club or any club, mm-hmm. like here. And you just have to make the effort. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Like, yeah. New Yorkers are really bad at making effort. Yo, yeah. cause we I saw all, this cause one thing before. All the time, that's what. I saw this yeah. one thing before and it was so hilarious. It said, New Yorkers dead as don't be paying attention. That they had to make a commercial saying, if you see something, say something. <laughs> Don't pay attention. It's that New York is mind their They mind their business. Yeah. Yo, key, key to life. Mind your business. Key to life. No one knows how to mind their business as best as a New, as Yorker, a New Yorker does. Yorkers. You can't go down south. Down people down south want to know everything Yo, about your whole life. Yo, in your business. Yo, Yo I they think we're so rude. Like, like, yeah, I, so I, rude. I be going down south and they be like, "Good morning." I'm like, "Why are you looking at me? Like, why are you looking at me yeah. crazy?" And then no, like, why are you asking me all these questions? Like, get out of my face. My great aunt lives down south. I visit her. I be I be walking with my headphones in, not yep. paying attention, nothing, doing my own thing. People be in my face. Oh, so you're her great niece. What are you up to? What are you doing in life? I'm like, how do you know so much about me? It's not 21 questions. But like, get out my face. What? Also about <laughs> out of state, and I think it's just like being proper and having yeah. that. You yeah. know, I have a cousin that lives in Alabama, and every time she comes, she calls me by my name. Like she says, Sarah, this, Sarah, that. At the end of everything, she says Sarah, so that way I she knows. That I know that she's, she's talking to you. <laughs> 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 no, but like, we can even bring it closer in because I have family in New Jersey and Philadelphia, and like when I go visit them, it's a total different climate than how it'd be in New York. And it'd be like, wow, like uh-huh. why y'all like this? Like maybe we are the odd ones, and they're <laughs> just like See, yeah. when I yeah, yeah. yeah. like and when I know, think about also. Oh, no. Oh, no, I was going to say, like, when I think about people from, like, down south and stuff like that, even I went to Canada and you realize it really is a New York thing to be, it's not rude, but rude as hell. Yeah. Right? Well, yeah. <laughs> they, they just, they're so, they have a sense of community in other places, yeah. whereas because we mind our business so much, we don't know who our neighbors are. We don't yeah. know what's going on. And that's a 50-50. Like, it's like, it's not Like, my sometimes business, you'll know your neighbors. Sometimes you'll be, like, a little bit social, neighbors. but, like. New Yorkers like, stick to themselves so yeah. much. It's, you know me, but mind your business. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, my gate, I put it my gate and your gate is your like, gate. Like, if I'm going to tell you stuff, you That's know I'm going to tell you stuff. But if I'm not speaking to you, I'm not yeah. speaking to you. Yeah. Like, like, those people that just sit back. next to you and have a conversation on the subway. Oh, my God. I, I hate, hate that shit people. so much. If there's oh other seats on the train, do not don't sit next, next to me. me. It's like, don't sit next to me because there's open. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> don't don't play it. Don't please. But don't. it's another thing that really cringes my soul is when someone makes eye contact with me. And they stare oh, at they you. Lock they lock on you. I'll be like, I'm going to take my glasses. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, why are you looking at me? Like, 
looking at me for that long. Oh, the, oh, yeah. the subway performers that just stare oh at you. Oh, my God. I hate the subway performers. You know, I love culture. Nah, though. especially mm-hmm. when you got when they realize you got money, like you got something expensive on you. Oh, and they yeah, be like, you "Can you say something about it?" That's what Cuba. happened this morning. I went to go get a bottle of water, running to class. Some guy saw me struggling in my back. He was like, "I know you got money." I was like, "What? What?" <laughs> See, what? Nah, and then see. in that moment, my headphone fell out, so I knew, he <laughs> knew I heard him. And I was like, "He was like, can I get a dollar?" I was like, "Sir, I got a dollar." Like, only in New York would somebody say something like that. Yeah. I feel like I don't want to call that. Like the, I want to say all those. Like, you don't want to say like bummy. You don't want to say bummy. I don't want to say bummy, but, but like, that's your intention. Yeah, but you don't. So why? Like, I mean, bummy people. I mean, <laughs> the bummy people. There was a bum on my bus this morning. The whole ride. <laughs> you're gonna describe What's them though. Like, like, <laughs> like they're not bummy. It's like. They, it's people that have jobs and legit. But they have the bummy personality. Put the dollar right in his pocket. Yeah. I end up giving him the dollar. By the way, but <laughs> you gave him the dollar. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm gonna oh, be like, that. "Fuck you, bitch!" No, I'm it's like, my I'm money. Like, I'm like, I'm I'm like, I'm like, no, no, no. Show, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hello, <laughs> goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Bye, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> we will be back we'll next be Wednesday. Back next, yes, next Wednesday. More structured. More structured. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in.